My name is Chris Chavez. I'm a global yoga teacher and musician and the co-owner of Jihangir Yoga. I was actually living and playing music in Dublin and I was living with a musician who I used to play with and he was my percussionist but he was also an Iyengar yoga teacher and just one day he said you should learn yoga you look like a yogi and so he taught me five poses and at the time I thought those were the only five poses in yoga so I was just traveling around the world doing those five poses over and over and over again. Eventually I learned that there was a lot more to yoga than those five poses. My whole life is a ritual actually, uh, but some of my main rituals that I kind of really tried to stick to, I honor that space is my morning rituals. When I wake up, I always begin my morning, well first with coffee, of course, nothing can be done without coffee. Uh, but also I spend the first probably half hour of my day writing and that's just to kind of clear my mind and start my day off on a good foot. I always start when I write just by um, tracking my wins. You know, we focus sometimes so much on the negative things happening in life and we forget to focus on positive things. So for about the first 10 minutes, I just write all of the positive things that I did the day before that I want to celebrate and, and acknowledge and remember. Another ritual that I have is cooking. Oh, wait, before cooking, naps. I ritualistically take naps every single day, or if I can't sleep, I just carve out that time and space for me to just uh, tune down and, and get quiet, and that helps to recharge my battery. But I love to cook, I love to garden, another ritual, but side note. <laughs> Whenever I'm teaching, I try to focus on whatever it is that I'm experiencing or that I'm working through at that moment. You know, uh, I think, for me, what makes me an accessible yoga teacher is just the fact that I'm working through my own stuff. You know, I'm, I'm a human being like everybody else and I have ups and downs and uh, I have things that worry me and my, the primary focus of most of my day is to try to work through those things. And whenever I find a source of inspiration or something that's helped me, which often comes from my morning writing, I try to bring that into the class because I know that if it's resonated with me and it's affected me, that it's possibly going to help somebody else and so I just want to share that the physical practice is actually for me secondary I kind of layer that on top of what I want to, co to convey uh, it's kind of like uh, the physical practice is the dish that I serve the main meal on and the main meal is actually the teaching yoga is in everything uh, some of the most amazing yogis that I ever, I've ever met have never been on a yoga mat they are people who are extremely passionate about what they do and they bring out the spirit of what the, who they are and what they do. And for me, that's yoga. And it can be through cooking, it, it can be through writing, music, painters, uh, parents, uh, just anything that you have passion about that, that brings your spirit or your soul out into the world and, it, and you, allows you to share it or convey it. For me, that's yoga. So the benefits and how it changed my life are very much the same. I mean, the very, at the very core of yoga is the connection to spirit. So I think anything that connects you to your spirit is going to help you. We sometimes get caught up in life and there's so many things happening around us that we spend a lot of time in our head. And the mind is only one part of the human experience. You know, we also have a body, we also have a soul. And yoga is about combining these three parts of the human experience in a way that is harmonious so that not just one of them is dominating the, our lives. The perfect definition of a summer holiday is some place where I can go and just be quiet, get still. Uh, and at the same time, I also like to be social. So if it's too quiet, I go a little crazy, but if it's too crazy, I go, <laughs> I go a little wild, I don't know. But yeah, perfect holiday for me is just having time to reflect, having time to to practice yoga, to meditate. I like to also remember that the yoga is also for me and it's not just what I do for a living or what I do out in the world, that it's important that I continue to use it as a practice for myself. What makes me feel good is when I'm connected to myself and there's many things that allow me to connect to myself and yoga is just one of them. Playing music is another one. Uh, cooking, I love to cook as I mentioned. And also uh, plant, working with plants or putting my hands in the garden and the earth. Um, and those, anytime that I feel like I'm in tune with my spirit, then I feel good. And I, I can do that anywhere. And I try to remember what those things are and, and do them as often as possible. Uh, whatever I can. <laughs>